What up, fam? It's your boy, G. Ridge. Today, we're going to make some chuck rolls. Yes, sir. I got eight pounds of chuck rolls right here, all three thick pieces. Nice, thick and juicy. Fam, look, it's going down today. I'm also going to make some green beans. Those are my ham hogs getting ready to boil for my green beans. Mmm, mmm. Um, I got, as you see, I got two jumbo cans of green beans. Mm, it's going down. I'm going to season the heck out of these things too, fam. Um, we're also going to have some uh, mac and cheese. And I had to make one little small pot for Corey for the greens. All right. I'm going to show you what kind of season I'm going to use for my roast beef. I'm going to cook everything all together in one pan. Even the potatoes and the carrots going in together. You know, like you usually put those in last. Uh-uh. We're going to put it all in there together. Yes, sir. As you can see, I'm going to start cutting these veggies up that's going in it. Mm hmm I'm having some uh bell peppers, onions, celery, potatoes, carrots, and we're gonna sprinkle them all around. I'm gonna put a little season on them, like some seasoning salt and um uh onion powder and uh stuff like that, you know, and just I'm gonna mix it up real good and I'm gonna spread it around the roast beef, okay? And then I'll come back and I'll I'm gonna sit that to the side after I get that all cut up and seasoned. And then we're going to season up the roast beef. And you'll see what I'm going to season the roast beef with. Um, now, you notice uh, sometimes when you do cook, you don't put the potatoes and the carrots in until like uh, about, uh, about 45 minutes to an hour left to go. No, that's only if you're cooking without the lid on it. I'm cooking. I'm going to put a lid on the uh, aluminum foil over the top of this uh, deep pan. Okay. And for the majority of the way, I cook it with the lid on and you'll, I'll come back about that, you know, around two hours. Okay. I'm going to come back with around two hours and show you when I remove the uh, foil off of it to show you how uh, the potatoes are not mushy and the corn. And, I mean, the sorry, not corn, but the carrots are still intact and not all mushy and stuff because you know if you you cook overcook the potatoes and carrot it'll turn to it'll be mushy and it's just not a good taste on it all right so i know what i'm doing you cook with the lid or the wrapping on for like i'm gonna do it for like two and a half hours then i'm gonna remove it and then put it back in the uh the oven for like another hour at 375 degrees the entire way and um, as you're towards the end, as you can see, I'm seasoning right now. Let me walk you through it. Yeah, so I put some of the um, the uh, season the brown gravy on it, and now I'm putting some beef bouillon on it. Mm-hmm. Also, a little bit of accent. You do not have to use accents. A lot of people can't handle MS MSG. It's understandable. I got to put some uh, orange. Um, some onion powder on it and some garlic powder follow behind it okay it's gonna be a thing of beauty that's the garlic powder mm -hmm. i'm just dumping it on there because i'm telling you it's gonna be good and flavorful i also added four cups of water there's the black pepper yeah so you know guy gotta have that black pepper now don't even play with it mm -hmm. i'm also gonna use seasoned salt today i'm not gonna use our regular white salt or the kosher salt today and it went well with it and i'm going to use some oxtail seasoning if you don't have beef uh like the uh uh, uh the roast beef seasoning you can use oxtail seasoning it's just as good Mm-hmm. and here's the seasoning salt you have to watch and pay attention to this video because i did not measure it but if you if you if you like to cook and you can see it just amount you can see about approximately how much I use or close to it. As you can see, I sped it up so you can guys can see. Look, look at that. Oh, wow. So I dropped the seasoning down off the meat, and then I'm just grinding it all up together. And in the bottom of the pan, I have like two tablespoons of vegetable oil, okay? So now I'm going to attempt to put all the vegetables and the uh, potatoes and carrots around the perimeter of the meat, all right? Then we're going to back it up with four cups of water. And then I'm going to come and lay, uh, sprinkle some parsley flakes on top of it for garnishment. I'm telling you, it's a thing of beauty. It came out perfect. Now, on the last part of the, this video, my daughter, I was at the, uh, the doctor's office by then with my wife. Everything checked out okay, but uh, 
and she had to go I had to take her to the doctor and um, everything's okay so far you know she be having she have you know PVC's heart uh, uh, you know her heart skips a beat from time to time but you know God got it and we're gonna work it out all right so I use four cups of water on this just fixing it up and make sure everything right and we're gonna sprinkle some parsley flakes on it then I'm gonna wrap it up and stick it in the oven like I told you for like two and a half hours covered then I came back after two and a half hours and took the uh, the covering off of it and cooked in an additional hour same temperature 375 stick with your boy get ready to go in mm-hmm we're gonna check on everything now I'm gonna go ahead and put the two full cans of green beans in the pot is ready to go and you'll see what kind of season I put in my uh, green beans you don't see me do this a lot um, I use uh, seasoning salt cayenne pepper and accent followed by some seasoned uh, um, grease, chicken grease or bacon grease. I had chicken grease this time. And this is. use make your green beans your way but if you like the taste that we make it the way we do it stick with us now that's the little old season oil i'm pouring in there mm -mm -mm. when i tell you these kids told me the green came look at that i'm pouring that because that's the kind of look you want you see that sheen on it oh my goodness i said sheen you heard me i ain't say shine the sheen look at that oh mg all right now we're two and a half hours in Oh, look at that. You see the integrity of the potatoes and the, look at that. Look at that. And the carrots, nothing is mushy. I'm showing you right here and right now. OMG, look at the seasoned juice. Man, I'm not playing with y'all. All right, we're getting ready to go back in the oven. Mmm, mmm. Good, Nathan Jones. Bam! Mama! There goes that man. Look at those green beans. Look at the meat done came and fell apart, fam. Oh man. It's a, hey man, it's another show. Another another hit, another winner. Uh-huh. This this video and this food, this this video food, everything is bomb. I love it. Alright? Bomb.com. Oh, look at that family. Mm mm mm. A little bit more to go. And towards the end, like I told you, you'll see now you'll see my daughter me show the video at the end because I was gone by then and I told her to pull it out. Alright? So that's why you didn't really see a finished plate until the icon picture. Stick with your boy. Love y'all to life. G Rich out. Look at that. In your mouth. Bye y'all.